shards work. Perhaps I can use some more. That camp must be where the merchants are. The merchants should be down this road. Perhaps near a ridge for shelter. Halt! Who goes? I come. Assalamu alaikum. I was sent by a friend of yours who was worried for your safety. As you can tell from the horse's head, she was right to be. We do not know what to make of this. Let me help. Perhaps I can find out what happened. We would be grateful. The culprit must have left a clue. Footprints. And a blood trail. The horse's head was carried to the center of the camp. My horse, my sweet legume. Balaka. Who would do such a terrible deed? Do not cast your eyes on me. I did no such evil. The head is cut clean. Must have been a sharp blade. Was this your horse? He is claimed by Hades now. Not only do I have to worry about Baghdad's ridiculous thirst for coin, now I must be concerned about my livestock. Malaka. <sighs> Rest in peace, Legum. What happened here? It happened in the dark of night. I could not see well, but I saw someone, I think. I cannot be sure. I think I know what happened. This is a work of intimidation. Someone is trying to prevent your arrival. La, uh, who? Who would do such a thing? I have no enemies, no bad blood. There could be worse fates if you continue down the road. Let me escort your crew to the gates. You would do that for us? Shukran! God bless you! Quickly! Get us away from here! Let us move. The city is not too far. Come! We should leave this place. Quickly! Should have stayed home. <clears throat> Where is home? I come from a place called Greece. West from here, across the water. With my horse Legum, we carry goods to and from Baghdad. All the cities we visited. Arkut, Basra, and even Samara. Your merchant friend tells me that these goods are bound for the Dahirat al-Mal. 
Nay, the great auction is a big event, and that meant bigger demands. So you are attending then? Attending? <laughs> I only wish I had the coin to spend. No, we are just providing stock for the preparations. Pay the price! to kill us? Likely. This is not surprising. We've been vocal against the Khilaf and unfair taxes. It can cost us our heads. But the silent sheep is an ally to corruption. They do not like this opposition. I would not be surprised if they made an example out of us to others who might try the same. safer now. You are wonderful. Thank you. Here we are. A thousand thanks, Ya Sayyidi. Baghdad is not safe. Rumors swirl through the markets of merchants dragged from their stalls. Have you heard of such injustice? Who would do this? Rumors say they target the Dimiyun, traders who are not from here. The Abbasids want a stake in all businesses. As long as there is coin, lives are secondary. The note dropped by the guards was from someone called al Anka. This person is the one behind the attack. Hmm. I overheard the guards refer to the tax collector as al Anka, Which was odd. Because is the Anka not female? Tell me his name and where I can find him. So Hayal lives in a mansion west of Karkh. Be careful, friend. I doubt he works alone. Thank you, friend. وفقك الله Does not work alone. 
someone not from Baghdad controls the strings. There is a scent on the letter. Perfume. Rose with... Iron. Hmm. at the harbor is funded by the coin of the people. I am done here. Nothing else. Roshan and Rebecca will be waiting back at the bureau. Critical hidden one returns. Finally, you found the path back. What do you have for us? The one we are looking for is a Demiun, someone out of Baghdad. You are certain? I found proof. They were working with the tax collector and the harbor master. One used the guards to harass and extort coin from the Demiun. The other seized goods at the docks. Extortion, I understand. But seizing goods? More objects from these ancient beings they worship. They are looking for a rare hairpin imported from the East Road. It will be up for auction at the Da'irat al-Mal. An official invitation into the auction. Now, we have a way in. Well done. Our target has to be someone connected to both Al-Anga and Al-Kululu. Someone working closely with the officials. Informers heard whispers of the Khalifa's treasurer. In recent times, they have been quite involved in the businesses of Kah. Someone like that will no doubt make an appearance at the Da'irat al-Mal. We should prepare, so I will scout ahead. Meet me near the soup when you're ready. Not a lot is known about this person. Underestimating your opponent is a fool's folly. Worried? I will tread carefully. What troubles you? My friends, my neighbors, all dead, slain by an evil spirit. Evil spirit? I saw her. A Sa'la, a most deadly creature. You saw her? Are you certain? Yes, I, I am certain. With your true eye or your mind's eye, the latter cannot always be trusted. Taban, no matter the eye, what else could it be to take so many lives so quickly? It will not be the first demon I have met, nor will it be the last. <laughs> Chinese markings. The air. Burning touch gnaws at my skin. Is this the breath of the Sirlab? The crystals within this jar. My guess, Salomoniac, or something like it. I should not linger. The poisoned vapor from the crystals has grown weak, but could still prove deadly. Flesh blistered, almost melted in places. 
a most unnatural death. their animals at the river. Something was offloaded. The tracks suggest it was the villagers doing. Was the wagon's owner even aware? Men with wagons came from that direction. findings with the survivor. Huh. I am glad the Sala did not get you. Was it a hard fight? Not at all. Which is usually the case when the opponent does not exist. Of course she exists! There is no demon. Not here. It was the desperation of your friends that led to this tragedy. What? Are you sure? Chinese merchants passed through, pausing to water their animals, correct? At this point, your friends decided to steal a chest of jars, not knowing they held a harmful vapor. Most likely something the Khalifa's alchemists requested for their studies. When your friends opened the jars, the poison killed them within a few heartbeats. I know that look. Shame. Guilt. The jars. It was my idea to steal them. I... I thought they might hold something we could sell. <sighs> I am sorry. Truly, I am. But now you must live with the consequences of your actions. What have I done? I have caused the deaths of so many. is simple. Enter the auction as a merchant wishing to bid on exotic artifacts. We know they want the hairpin, and we know they will be at the auction. They already let it slip through their fingers once. When the hairpin appears, I will watch the crowd and make sure to obtain it. That will secure a meeting with this treasurer. I am fully confident they will bid on it, whatever the cost. Yes. I will gather as much information as I can about this treasurer before the auction starts. For someone in their position, there will be no lack of whispers. The first feather without a head. It is your duty to find the right one. Do not let yourself get distracted. Focus on the mission at hand. It does no one good to linger on things that do not exist. This is real. I understand. Silence is better for the wives, and how much more so for fools. Havan Muvatavan. Do you 
think we need luck? There is a rot in Targ, treasurer. Property stolen. Merchants extorted. Foreigners tormented. Corruption is rank and everywhere. But you are at its heart. Even now, your poison spreads along the East Road to lands untouched by the Order's venom. I hear you hunger for a hairpin. One up for auction at the Da'irat al-Mal. I will play the rival for your heart's desire and draw you from the shadows. Should have known you would be here, Kong. Ha! You know me. Come, let us chat. Do you have any information about the treasurer? Someone who works for the Khilafa? The treasurer? Hmm. I do have something, but... You know, it hurts to give precious information for free. What job do you need doing now? Ha! <laughs> Already know what is on my mind, eh? You see, little Finch, the Da'irat al-Mal is not only an important event for the upper class of Kach, but also for thieves. Did someone take something of yours again? A precious ceramic saucer. Luca has it. He has always been jealous of me. Ah, where do you think it is? I knew I could rely on you, little Finch. You should be able to find it in the crates near his stall. Be right back. Ahlan, Ahlan, come upstairs and look at my words, ya sadiqi. Things you've never seen before in Baghdad. Exotic Chinese artifacts. Here on. Nowhere else. Don't be shy. Come closer and be amazed at my selection upstairs. Assalamu alaikum. You mentioned Chinese artifacts. Yes, friend. Welcome, welcome. You will surely find something of interest here. Beautiful threads, smooth as a camel's buttered bottom. A special for you, the Sadiqi. Buy two, get another free. I should... Longing for the exquisite, ya Sadiqi. I have ornaments that hail from the Far East on auction. Rare vases, delicate teacups. But the hairpin is my prize. One of a kind, a beauty even the treasurer asked about. Wait, the hairpin? Where is it? It's going to be up for auction. If you wish to purchase it, make sure to bring a good bag of coin. A hairpin from the east? This must be the item El Kululu was after for the treasurer. I must look out for it at the auction. I assume you've heard about the promotion if you stole down. Kong and Luca again. Oh no, that's another bit of trade. I didn't get the stole in your own. This must be the Star Convention. Now to find that plate.
come to own a plate like this. Now maybe he will tell me what he knows about the treasurer. Hmm. Suspicious activity on the rooftops. Here, Little Finch delivers once again. Just the very thing I need to complete my set. I thought this was yours. It is now. Anyway, listen close. I was having my usual afternoon tea when I overheard two ladies speaking about an order they fulfilled for the Dayadat Al Mal. They made a beautiful robe for the treasure with intricate Eastern embroidery. Open your eyes to that. Eastern wear. Thank you, Kong. The treasurer is likely a foreigner from the east. Tardiness is not something the treasurer appreciates. I will repeat. Not something we can rush, yes, Eldati. The treasurer will not be happy. Neither will I. I know that. The perfume creation is complex. We are already doing our best. Your best is not enough. Come, we talk elsewhere. There are ears in the walls. That woman mentioned the treasurer. I should keep my ears closed. The treasurer is fond of the Kina, as you know. No one is more unhappy when three dozen bottles go missing. With the harbor withholding our supply of production has been slow inside that. Certain incidents there have also made our situation difficult. You are not telling me exactly what it is we are missing. The... Uh, blood, my lady. The blood is essential in the scent. It is what makes the Kina perfume special. We must have it. I will talk to the Halifa. See what we can do. The treasurer will have to wait for her supply. This perfume? On the tax collector's letters? I thought it smelt like iron. Was it blood? This woman could be from the Khalifa's inner circle. She knows the treasurer. I must speak to her. Assalamu alaikum, ya Sayyidati. Wa alaikum assalam. I could not help but overhear, Sayyidati, about the perfume. It is not courteous to eavesdrop. Seeing as you are an admirer, you are pardoned. My name is Kabiha. The woman behind the Kina. It has a unique scent. Rose, honey, sandalwood. And if you heard, a sliver of blood. Blood? I should have guessed. I had thought it might be iron. Blood is born from iron, is it not? But, because of that detail, it proves difficult to bring in large quantities. If it is so exclusive, it must be popular amongst officials. I think I caught a scent of it near the treasurer. Ning uses the Kina. She is quite taken with its rich mystique, as are many. Curious. You do not look like one who is interested in the art of perfumery. It is unwise to judge someone by how they look. Indeed. Did I not catch your name? Basim. Basim. I must not waste any more of your time. I wish you a wonderful time at the Da'irat al-Mal, ya Sayyidati. So, the treasurer is a she, and her name is Ning. The auction should be starting soon. 
مرحبا السلام عليكم يا ساس نيحاو هلو It is the time of year again to fulfill your deepest yearning, to listen to your heart's desire, and purchase what God has shown us. It brings me great joy to welcome all of you esteemed individuals to our annual Dairat Al-Mal. First on our exclusive, captivating list of exotic odds and ends, we have a stunning statue from India. Made of ivory and crafted by the finest artisans, it will be a perfect addition to any home. Oh, hmm. what do we have? One bidder already. No, two. Calling once, twice, a third. Would anyone like to best that price? No? So, this piece goes to the lovely lady. Next, we have a one-of-a-kind ethereal beauty. This hairpin hails from the east. And look at the detail on the dragon. Perfect as a collectible, and even better as a gift for a certain lady friend you might have. So, so what is this piece worth to you, ya Azdekhai? One, for the treasurer who graced us with her presence. Ning. The treasurer. Two. Any others? Hmm. We have a third there. Oh, two owns it again. Number three. What will you do? How much do you want this, my friends? Reach into your heart. Listen to your desire. Hmm. No one? Then sold to the handsome bearded man. This hairpin belongs to you now, Sayyid. Now, for the third item. And we thank you once again for making the Dairatul Mal a success. May your purses be ever full and your heart ever longing. Did you see her? Her calmness, her grace, like a lone shiny star against a dark atmosphere. If only I could speak to her. <laughs> I have an appointment with the treasure. Move aside. Apologies. My instructions were clear. No brooch, no entry. Do you know who I am? I need to speak to the treasurer. I was called, summoned. Assalamu alaikum. I'm here to see the treasurer. On what business? I have a gift for the treasurer, if she will see me. Only members of the ivory coin are allowed to enter. No brooch, no entry. This is proof that I am of the Merchant's Guild. Look, see? With respect, that does not entitle you to three bags of saffron, two of vanilla, and a bottle of honey without a single coin. Impossible! Bah! This is a waste of my time. Hello! Spices for- Trouble with customers. No more than usual. These people from the ivory coin think themselves touched by God himself. The ivory coin? I... I should not speak about it. I do not know much, really. Whatever you know can help me. 
Well, it will not hurt to tell you what I know. The Ivory Coin is an exclusive merchant's guild. They have a brooch that grants access to certain places. How do you obtain this brooch? I hear only respected merchants are part of the Ivory Coin, and that you can only be invited by another member. They think their status gives them permission to take goods without coin. <laughs> Have you ever seen such vanity? This is expected in Karch. Thank you. Hello, spices for you? Exclusive union for the merchants of high society. I should have expected this to exist. I do not care what you have to do. Burn them or murder their dogs if you have to. Understood, Saidi. We will retrieve your coin from the merchant stall on the morrow, at all costs. Why not today? Yeah. You lot are getting more incompetent by the day. Useless. You again? What is it now? I have something that she wants. A Chinese hairpin from the auction. I also have my brooch with me here. Very well. You may enter. This way, Sayyidi. I have been looking forward to meeting the treasurer. It is an honor. Indeed, Sayyidi. She is busy, and her time only allows for a few rare appearances. I have never seen so many treasures in one place. to be careful not to get bitten in there. Please refrain from speaking about the treasure inappropriately. You may enter. Oh. You are a new face. My name is Basim. New to Baghdad, but not to trade. I deal mostly in fine antiques and collectibles. You must have a good eye for detail, then. What have you brought me, Basim? You know what I brought. A man not to be toyed with. Come, show it to me. Is it? Ever seen something like this? 
So perfect. So delicate. No, but I am surprised that you have not. I do have a pension for them. When I was but a child, my sisters and I would tie our hair with sticks, adorn them with stone. I pretended they were the rarest gems. We had nothing, but we felt that we had it all. There are many reasons why people see me. For advice, a taste of power, and most often, to win favor. Why have you come, Basim? As a fellow collector, I have heard much about you from others. Your extravagance, your taste. I wish to learn... Did they say I was lucky? I loathe the word. When I first arrived in Baghdad, I was one of many seeking my fortune. Now, I have even the East wrapped around my fingers. I clawed my way here where many gave up, preferring to spare their nails. But me? I don't mind a few scratches, a bit of blood. Surely there have been connections. The people you met that helped you get to where you are. No matter what others say, you only have yourself. No one else. Everything prospers when family is harmonious. Family? The word has no meaning. The notions, even more so. Only the self hears the deepest whispers of your soul and accepts you whole. No one lives alone. But we die lonely. In the end, we are absolutely, simply, truly alone. How did you fare? The streets are alive with talk about the auction. Rumors spread quickly. It was this woman, Ning. A woman holding the reins. She must have angered many. Angered and enthralled, in equal parts. It is no wonder she kept her identity hushed. Now the upper echelons of affluent louts are soiling their silk robes. Wondering if they are next. The order will not stop here. If they have reached the east, then there is no telling how far they will spread. Did you see it? The Jenny? It... Uh, it is gone now. It is gone. Rest while you can. Our work is not done yet.
Asim, I am here. Basim, the Mahal. I cannot keep them waiting. Are they aware, your companions, that their hunter is hunted in his sleep? If it were in my sleep alone, I could bear it. But it followed when I fled Anbar. Now it stalks me when I slay those I hunt. The ones from the palace, in the masks. Four are dead at my hand. The last, the head of the snake, will join them soon. Why slit its throat when you could loosen its tongue? What? Why would I- The jinni only struck in sleep. It never dogged you by the day until you reached into that chest. The masked one's prize would lay within. The ancient object that woke at your touch. They may hold more answers living than dead. I hunt my enemies. I do not break bread with them. I took an oath, Nihal. How can you hunt when you are hounded? If you could walk the dark unburdened, you could better serve the light. I stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent, not from the order of the ancients. If you will not ask your foes, then at least ask your friends what slept in that chest and why they sought it. My companions wait for me at the Harbiya Bureau. Clear your mind, Basim. Focus on the task before you. will be the death of me, I swear. What are you gawking at? You sound like someone in need of help. I will take it when I can. Then I shall offer it. What is the problem? This house belonged to my mother before she passed away. It holds an object of great value. A treasure, you might say. A treasure? Ha! Suddenly he's all ears. Treasure intrigues me, but it does not rule my heart, nor my ears. Anyway, unless I find a way inside, the treasure is lost forever. As a child, I was quite the treasure hunter. Now is as good a time as any to renew that interest. For a fee? So be it. After the job is complete. Where exactly will I find this treasure? My mother, a potter by trade, Hid it inside a blue lusterware amphora. Lusterware? That is a treasure in itself. After her death, my grief was great, and I could not bring myself to enter the house and claim my birthright. Now I return only to find the place has sunk. Please, bring me what is mine. Your birthright shall be restored.
was not damaged with pleasure. Lump of copper? Here is your treasure. Ha! <laughs> Was it greed or clumsiness that led you to breaking the amphora? If I had not broken it, you would have. There was no other way to open it. And besides, since when was a lump of copper considered to be a great treasure? Your ignorance betrays you. With this copper, I will make a hundred lusterware vases. Now here is your fee. Mine is a small forfeiture for breaking my mother's amphora. It held sentimental value, you know. <laughs> 